What's up? What's up, everyone? It's your boy Sony, aka Young Hybrid, back at it again with your favorite show, Style Spotlight TV show, and the fifth episode. And today, I bring a special guest on the cell with me, my homeboy from Broward County. As you guys already know, I never start this show without the intro. But before we move forward, let's roll the intro. His favorite show, man. So it's tough to Hey, man. Know. Um, I'm just honored to be here, man. Just you know, all this fashion talk, and I'm just down the road. Let's go. Uh, yo, talk to my fans, man. Tell them where you from. So I was raised in the Bronx, New York. Born in the Dominican Republic, and recently moved to Florida, Broward County. Bad, bad, bad. You already know. All right. So what brings you to the fashion field, though? Honestly, bro, I just felt like the thrifting aspect of it. You know, how you could just pick mm -hmm. one piece and another piece and you just, you could really like hand pick mm -hmm. what you want to pick and all that. And like, I feel like it's all on your own style and how you like express yourself, you know? So that's what really brought me in. Bad, 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 bad. So like I was promised you guys, the show is not about myself, it's about everybody who loves fashion. So I bring my homeboy from Broward County today in this show. So let's step outside to see how my homeboy do it. But today I got seven important questions for you, fam. So I hope you're ready for it, man. Oh uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, bet. Let's go straight to it. So the first question is gonna be, how did your passion for fashion begin? So honestly, it just started off being in high school, 10th grade. You know, just looking what to wear and all that. Uh, you know, how we all started off with the hype beast brands, Supreme, Bape, Palace. The list goes on. But see, that was like my first interest. Yeah, bad, 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 bad. So what makes you continue your interest about fashion though? The way you can pick your own fabrics and type of looks, the color coordinations, all that. It really matters to one's like personal style, you feel me? Yeah, I'm the same question number one. So what, what are you shopping at though? What are you usually shopping at? It starts from online to Recently, just thrift stores, you know. Thrift, thrift store. is just the way to so go. So, how you usually pay for the for the outfit and thrift store? Though? Most thrift stores they do uh, by pound. So, let's say you get a T-shirt, a jacket, a pair of jeans, and like a little accessory, like a mirror or something. Mm -hmm. Probably will come out to like ten dollars, eleven dollars. Crazy. You can close out there for ten dollars. For sure. You know, and people probably don't believe that though. Nah, they don't until they do yeah, it. Though. Until they do it, man. So, you, you about to put them on again. Question number two, can you share a specific fashion moment that I have impact your career? Uh, using Grilled, which is an online website that we use to like shop clothes and all that. Mm -hmm. If you're into fashion, then you, you should know about Grilled. Bad, but, bad, bad, bad. So I remember this one time I bought these pair of number nine jeans, they're Japanese. And when I got them, I was just looking at the fabric and the detail and the stitching. Uh -huh. and that's what really stood out to me because you know, I was just stuck on Levi's. You know, Levi's is a classic. You know, you yeah, can't yeah, go wrong with Levi's. Go with Levi's. But yeah. when I seen the fabric and the stitching and the amount of like attention to detail, that's what really like opened my eyes to different cultures of fashion. Question number three. 
So can you describe your personal style and how you reflect your personality? Uh, so really just thrift shopping is really my main thing for now. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll cop, you know, Japanese street brands like Capital, Number 9, uh, Undercover, but with the thrifting aspect, that's my main thing. Cause so definitely that's your personal style. Yes, for sure. Uh, I feel like how it reflects my personality is just, I really think it's the color tones because I really like nature, you know, so earth tones is just a natural thing for me. And uh, just the greens, the different types of greens and like the faded look pretty bad, much. Bad, bad. So, uh, so your style never impact your, your career? Uh, pretty much, it don't really impact, it just assists, you know. Anything I throw on, I just make it look right. So it's just, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it's not really the house, it's you putting no. out your Yeah, I that's put it out for you. Know, I, I pick it out and make it work. Up. That's what's up, man. It's all yes, about sir. you. You feel me? You gotta be confident, you know? It's not like just throw the outfit on, you know, throw the outfit with confidence. That's what that's that's fashion is pretty much. A question number four. So how do you stay up to date with the latest fashion trends? Social media is a big part of that, honestly. So pretty much I'll just go on Instagram, Twitter see what the latest brands and stuff. And it's really music. The music industry got a really uh, big impact on rap. that, you know? If, if the rapper ain't rapping about your brand, it's not hot, you know? Yeah. Pretty much, that's how I really stay up to date in culture and pretty much like that. Bad, bad. So are there any specific uh, platform or source you rely on? Yeah, so for online, um, mostly it's just grilled right. for Depop. And, you know, just for actual shopping, Thrift stores is the way to go for in person. Uh, just the amount of fabrics and different options they got. And you can really find your own personal style using thrift stores. Yeah. So you can go on with thrift stores? Yeah, yeah. you can't. So in your opinion, what role does fashion play in, in society? Connecting everybody together using, you know, different types of brands. You know, so-and-so from South Africa likes Nike or Adidas, let's say, somebody from Europe likes Nike or Adidas and they can already have that connection, even though they're from different parts of the world. So in, how do you think it can be used to make a positive impact? With different types of cultures, you know, around the world, you know, this culture might not like one thing about this other culture, but if they like this one brand, that's one thing they got in common. So I feel like it just kind of helps with like, you know, world peace, in my opinion. Pretty much that's what I got for y'all today, but before I leave this set, right? So I got a special question for you. So do you think brain make people look expensive or fashion? Uh, honestly, it's your own personal style because you can't tell me rocking Gucci, Louis, Fendi Prada in one mm -hmm. fit mm -hmm. could make the fit, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It just looks a little ridiculous with all them brands on you. Mm -hmm. So technically you'll be living qualities and then uh, fabric. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's just all on fabrics, uh, color coding, and just basically on mood, pretty yeah, much. Color tones, pretty much. Yeah, color yeah. tones, mood, and just whatever you want to express, whatever you want to put on, just put it on, honestly. All right, so y'all heard my boy. If you really like this video, guys, remember to go on my YouTube channel, smash the like button, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe, guys, you know, subscribe and hit the bell button so you can see the new video every time I drop them for y'all. So be on the lookout for the next few games coming up, you feel me? New look, new fashion, and then remember, dress like you're already famous. It was your boy, Sonny, aka Young Hybrid. I'm out.